everybody. This is another review from the Royal Trends. This is the Happy Places Gemacorn. And Gemacorn is actually built for Gemastone. Unfortunately, Gemastone has not been reviewed yet. She's actually part of the castle, which I'm saving for last here. But uh, in the, on the back here, it shows Gemastone going for a ride. A little bit of a glimpse here of her going for a ride. There is not very much to say or see about on the back of these, but you can just, if you want to pause that, you can read that. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and open her up. So here is Gemma Corn all opened up. She comes with a checklist, which we've already looked at in previous videos. Uh, if you want to take a deeper look at that, um, check out some of our other single packs that we've done a review on already. She also comes with these attachable wings, which makes her a unipegasus. I don't really know, <laughs> but I don't, maybe these aren't supposed to be real wings or just supposed to be like an ornament. I don't know, but we'll attach them at the end here. So let's take a look at her, a close look at her. She has this transparent crown, which is, which is actually tinted in a little bit of blue. So it gives it a really nice sparkle. I can get that to focus. There it is. Followed down by this really beautiful light blue headdress. And you can see a diamond there. A diamond over here. And then some more small diamonds surrounding the, head, the headdress. She has purple hair that you can see her unicorn or horn poking out of the front of the bangs. And then the mane kind of flows and curls to the side. Uh, ooh. Mine has a little bit of glue issue here, but I think it, I might be able to take that off. Um, but anyhow, she's got um, really light, light, light lavender eyes. And if you look really, really close into them, if I can get that to focus that close. She has diamonds in the middle of her eyes on both sides. So that's pretty cool. Also, she is wearing this really cool, I want to say it's a choker type thing, but it, it's, it's attached to her saddle. It is really cl crystal clear. I think it's supposed to be crystal. And it's got diamonds on it. It goes all around her neck. Oh, is that is that a separate piece? It might be actually be a separate piece. Yeah, it's a separate piece. Okay. So she, it is like a choker. And then the front of it has a purple diamond with white wings. And then the saddle itself is also transparent, so that's supposed to be crystal as well. And then it's painted the, the same color purple. Pretty much a, a little bit of a darker purple than her mane. Her tail also comes down flowing, and then it, sp it spirals into a nice little curl at the end. The base of her is like this really pearlescent white. And uh, her white fades down to her purple hoofs, which on the bottom say nothing. <laughs> so let's go ahead and put her wigs on. Okay, I think I, I believe I got them on. They're, they're, I don't know, at least with my, with my girl... Uh, the wings don't really go on, they don't fit in very well. I don't know if they just fit in really tight, so they don't fall off, because it's, it's actually on pretty good. Uh, but it was a little bit difficult. Kind of hurt my finger a little bit. <laughs> but I'm going to actually use, uh, Princess Armanda to show you, uh, that she is rideable. So here she is being ridden. This is Princess Armanda. Uh, I have done a review on her also on this channel. And, uh, she's riding... Gemacorn. So yeah, that's pretty much all we have for the video. Uh, when I do get to opening Gemstone, I will be sure to show you them both together to show you how well they match. But uh, this is all we have for you guys today. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe, and we will see you in the next one. Bye guys.